Hi there, and good morning from the apartment. So right now it's a little bit early in the morning and Brennan is still asleep back in the bedroom. Calvin is running around playing with his little toy mouse. So today I wanted to toy around with the idea of something that Brennan and I talked about a little bit ago where I want to film our day in the apartment. I want to record our quarantine. I don't think it's going to be anything incredibly exciting, which is why I'm not going to be doing it a lot, but she did mention it would be interesting to be able to look back on this in the future, and I agree with that. So, we're gonna see what happens. This is gonna be one of the most hopefully reasonably casual videos that I think that I've done in recent years, because I don't just really film apartment stuff unless I have something that I want to show, or just to give you an update on the progress of something in particular, but this is just gonna be us in the apartment, probably eating food and playing games, and that might be it. So if you're ready for that, we'll see how it turns out. Let's go make some breakfast, I guess, before Brennan wakes up. I try to keep this cat off of this island so much, but he's just in that curiosity phase of being a kitten where he just doesn't understand that when you take him off the island, he shouldn't jump back up. So he just kind of does what he wants, but he's keeping his distance away from what I'm working on over here. And once I start really cutting it up, I'll make sure that he's off the island. It sounds like Brennan is awake, so I'm gonna go and get started here hopefully pretty soon. I think I'm gonna make an omelet, because I have not done that in kind of a while. So I have my uh, tomato, I have some onion here, I have some ham, some cheddar, got my bacon and my eggs here, some butter, and some orange juice. So, I don't know, this will hopefully turn out pretty good and start our morning off great. Get out of here. So I guess we just woke up. <laughs> Me. It's Brennan. She's joined the quarantine party. So, as you can see, I have all of my cut up onions and tomatoes and ham just kind of grilling softly in the corner. I'm adding my eggs right there, and then the bacon is right here. Very <laughs> excited for my breakfast, Brennan. I am. Roy always wakes up before me, so he's always the one cooking breakfast. I'm pretty good at it. I, think. I can make a mean breakfast too if I want. And here it is the end result. Gotta step over the cats there, just hanging out in the middle of the room. Hi, Brennan. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to quarantine and have a great day doing it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's enjoy some breakfast. Got some banana, some star fruit, some toast, and an omelet, and some bacon, some orange juice. And you have yourself some coffee over there. This is going to be a nice start to the day. So breakfast has been had, the dishes have been done, and now I'm going to go outside real quick with Brennan. Hi, Brennan. Hi. To show off something that we've been kind of working on in our time at home, our quarantine, we've been to the store a couple times to pick up some groceries, and while we were there we picked up a couple um, pots and some soil and some uh, plants, and we are just enjoying our time out here making some plants, hopefully. So this is what I bought in terms of just flowers making and some plants. making some plants, <laughs> growing some plants. So these flowers are in these pots right up here. And then right underneath them, Brennan has a couple plants. These are all Brennan's plants. She's watering them right now. Ooh, and I have it <laughs> I have it set up to where when they drain they will drip down into these guys down here. So Brennan has some peppers right here. She has some cucumbers right here. And then uh, just a bell pepper, I think she buried yeah. down there. And then uh, over here, I have one of these is watermelon, and then one of these is cantaloupe. And it's probably not the ideal situation to grow watermelon and cantaloupe, but maybe that goes for a lot of these plants. But we'll kind of just see what happens. It's just kind of an experiment just to kind of see what we can get out of this. And here's another little potted plant with some flowers, hopefully growing at some point. Not the best, uh, whatever this is. What, soil? No, this. No water? Yeah, like the thing itself is just kind of leaky. Oh, the water. Okay, the watery pot. And i uh, got a couple flowers in here as well. I think this is just a mixture of all of the flowers. But, yep, here's our balcony and we're just going to see what eventually happens with all of this, we've been leaving these doors open a little bit longer so the cats can come out here and enjoy some fresh air, so we can come out here and enjoy some fresh air, right? Oh, 
I'm sorry that I scare you. <laughs> the other day, Calvin came out here and I guess a lizard got underneath our little balcony enclosure here and he grabbed the lizard and he brought the lizard inside and then he just let him go. So I had to chase this lizard around the house and release him back downstairs into a bush. Find another one. Yeah, he's just trying to get some lizards. Calvin's done more of like an outdoor cat than Farley has in his entire life. Right. Calvin's just so curious. And I appreciate him so much. So now, Brennan, what are we going to go do? I am going to try my rollerblades out because I got some rollerblades. Yep. Let's go do that right now. Okay, so we are downstairs and Brennan has on some rollerblades. And we bought these recently. Well, she bought these. Mine are coming in the mail hopefully in a little bit because we've been talking about getting these for the longest time. We either wanted to invest in these or get some bikes that we could bike around, but this kind of just seemed a little bit more fun and convenient, so I was obsessed we're doing with it. rollerblading as a kid. I would go all the time. I would go to like roller skating rinks all the time with my rollerblades or like walk my dog with my rollerblades and I was like thinking that once I got them again as an adult it'd be like riding a bike, but I'm like surprised at how Mm -hmm. Difficult. I'm like having. You're doing a pretty good job. I was one of the people that had the roller skates, so the the, yeah. the two wheels kind of I was a perpendicular blade. to each other. A blade lady. Mm hmm. <laughs> but so I'm like having to relearn how to do this all over again, and I didn't think I would. You're doing great. You haven't fallen over skating yet, so that's good. Leaving me in the dust, walking around in my flip flops like a like a loser. Look at her go. She's doing so great. I stopped trying to follow her around the apartment complex and just let her take a lap. I didn't fall. How was it? It was nice. Was it nice? I forgot how uh, intense on the legs it is. You're really good at that. What? Just doing it. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm gonna do so bad whenever mine. I'm like slowly come in. picking it back up, but it's a. Uh, I think the way that our sidewalk is with all these bumps, mm -hmm. it's like not the best to start back on. Is the road better? A little bit, but it's also more unreliable. Yes. Well, hopefully you get better and hopefully I do okay. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We're over here by the dog park, which I think is the only part of our apartment complex, uh, apartment complex that's actually open mm -hmm. technically right now because the our gym or fitness center, um, yeah, everything over there in our in our main building, I guess, is closed. The pool. The game room, everything. Yeah. Which totally stinks, but this is technically open. So. For the dogs. Yep. Gotta give those dogs some enjoyment. Let's bring Calvin and Farley down here and see if they enjoy it. Could you bat them? A little bit. Calvin would just like go through the fence. Farley would try, get stuck. <laughs> yeah, he would get stuck, wouldn't he? <laughs> Could you see them just jumping through the hoops like? Mm hmm. Like a good boy. I don't know if Farley could make it, but. Calvin could. We gotta stop shaming Farley so much. He's doing his best. Yes, he does. So we're back inside and I wanted to show you something that's been entertaining both Farley and myself, which is Calvin's obsession with this laser pointer. He is more energetic than I've ever seen a cat with a laser pointer. And he's just so infatuated by it. And Farley likes it too, but I think he's been letting Calvin have his fun with it because he cannot compete with his energy. So I think for lunch, I'm gonna be making some chicken salad sandwiches, I'm pretty sure, because that sounds pretty easy to make. And then just getting rid of some canned foods and bread and whatnot is probably a good idea so we can avoid going out as much as possible and avoid more trips to the grocery store. So that's, I think, the, the plan, or at least that's what I'm gonna make, and I make them pretty good. And of course, whenever I decide to make these kinds of foods, these guys get very vocal and excited because they hear me opening up cans. So I decided to go and give them some cat food as well. They're walking underneath me right now. And there we go, we each have a bowl. Hooray! Of course, Farley is done with his bowl and he's trying to eat out of Calvin's bowl. But what I got going on over here is gonna be a repli replication, I guess, of a type of chicken salad sandwich that Brennan likes to get a lot uh, at a place called Chicken Salad Chick, where we have the chicken, we have some cheese, we have some bacon bits, and then it's gonna be a mixture of mayonnaise and ranch. 
And then I'm gonna add some tomato and onions, of course. And then maybe with the toasted bread a little bit. Calvin, you've had your food. You do not belong up here. And here they are, the end result of the sandwiches. Actually looks really good. Is it good, Brennan? Mm -hmm. And then have some uh, chips on the side, some uh, cheese puffs, and then uh, some watermelon. And then Brennan's enjoying a Baja Blast, and I'm trying out this new cherry vanilla Coke, which is super good. And we are just kind of sitting out on the balcony, just enjoying the view of really nobody else outside walking around, but that's okay. And I think Calvin is back here somewhere. Calvin! He's trying to find another lizard. There he is. Yeah, he's looking for another lizard. So lunch is all done now, and now Brennan and myself and Calvin apparently are playing war <laughs> with my Zootopia cards. Isn't that right, little buddy? Keeping our minds active. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> Calvin, can you move your butt, please? <laughs> I love everybody's facial reactions on these cards. They're just very oh. entertaining. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is what we've oh, no. built up no. to. Yay. What did you get? That was exciting. A king. I deserve it. A six and a queen. Yes. <laughs> so we are now back inside. There's Calvin somewhere back there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's, He's nibbling. He wants to play. Yay, Calvin. I don't know where. Play. I don't know where Farley ended up. He's right here somewhere, probably sleeping or pooping or something. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is something I'm gonna try to keep a little bit secretive in the sense of I'm gonna make another video, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail because it's kind of a surprise and it's a lot of fun. So this is kind of a hint right here, <laughs> which makes no sense out of context, but this has taken a lot of preparation here. It's it's gonna be cool. It's something that I asked for help on Instagram a couple days ago, and I'm finally gonna do something with it now, so it should be good. So I'll see you in just a second after we're all done with that. Hey, Where Calvin. Oh, there's Farley. Oh, where's Farley? <gasps> there he is, he's right over here. Farley, say hi to everybody. You wanna go roller skating, roller blading? <laughs> Maybe sometime later. So we're right in the middle of recording the video that I wanted to record today, which involved moving this cat tree out here into the living room, which will make sense once you see that video, but this tree wasn't even here for about two minutes, and Calvin has already jumped up on it, and then Farley's in that hole somewhere, and Calvin is <laughs> smacking him around. Oh no, oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're almost done filming, and uh, this one's gonna be a lot of fun, I can tell. We've been putting a lot of effort into it. All right, guys? Here I go, walking through Disney World with Calvin the Cat. Wait a second, I'm in front of a green screen. <laughs> Rats. So this is also part of the video that we're working on. We're almost done, but part of it requires a green screen. So I set up my green screen, which I do not set up very often. And Calvin is just having the best time, running around. And he's making this last a little bit longer than it needs to, but it's worth it, I think. Okay, so we're all done filming that video that we were working on for the past about an hour or so, I'd say. I think it turned out pretty funny, which was the intent. It was supposed to be more lighthearted, and it's kind of a skit in a sense. So it'll be something a little bit different than the average vlog that I put on this channel, but it was a lot of fun, and I hope it's going to be fun to edit and then put out. So now it is time for dinner, and because I did breakfast and lunch, Brennan wants to do dinner, so I think we are having pierogies and shrimp. And scampi. shrimp scampi and who has an appetizer? She has appetizers, <laughs> and then we have some garlic knots, and, and then maybe whatever else she ends up throwing on the stove or in the oven. We'll see what happens, but yeah, pretty pretty successful day. We might play some games later. The day is still young. I guess while Brennan is finishing up dinner, I can show off the different games that we have. I don't know if I've ever shown them off. We have Mousetrap, Jumanji, games like Battleship and. Risk, some Disney games, 101 Dalmatians, The Crocodile Hunter, The Game of Life, Twister, Light Brights, and then over here on this other shelf, which I actually, I actually recently um, reorganized this shelf a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to see all of our various knickknacks on here, but down here we have Baskethead, we have Link 4 instead of Connect 4, we have Who's It instead of Guess Who, and then this Pizza Monopoly game and then also a kind of a knockoff bop it 
So we have plenty of games to choose from to entertain us, so we'll probably be doing that. And then here's our porch outside with our multitude of plants, which hopefully provide us with a nice harvest of uh, vegetables and fruits. Okay, so this is Brennan's appetizer situation. Just a couple garlic knots and some shrimp scampi, and then these are Brennan's pierogies that I think you're gonna boil these, right? Yep. I always liked these growing up because my mom and I would always joke that they're not Mrs. T's, they're Mr. T's. Are they? They're Mrs. T's. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm confused. So gullible. But if they're over there, some boiled. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm covered in scampi. Oh man. There they are, right over there. And then there's some onions. And here it is the end product of Brennan's uh, culinary craftsmanship. <laughs> Can you walk me through it? Um, I made some pierogies with some onions, caramelized onions. I put some cheese on top. This was supposed to be the appetizer, the shrimp scampi with some garlic knots, and then I made some veggies and then irresponsibly doused them in Parmesan cheese. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it looks great. And now we're gonna watch some good old TV, maybe some Hulu, maybe some Disney Plus, maybe some Netflix, maybe some Amazon Prime, maybe some YouTube. We got a lot of uh, services. Oh, we're off on a tangent. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we are all done with dinner, and Brenna decided to get out our Monopoly Pizza Edition. And this was kind of funny when she opened up the box, which looks like a pizza box. <laughs> that is what <laughs> she saw when she opened it up. But she is currently setting up the game right now. Looks like we have some pizza slices over there. I don't know if those are going to be the houses or what. But look at this board. Looks like pepperoni is the boardwalk of the game. We have sausage. Makes me want takeout. Really olives, bad. eggplant, basil, mozzarella, red onion, barbecue <laughs> chicken, mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes, spinach, ham, pineapple, bacon, and mac and cheese. Look at the game pieces. What are they? <laughs> oh no. Delivery. Oh my god, a little cheese grater. So a cheese grater. Looks like this is for <laughs> like cheese. A little pizza, a little pizza cutter. These are cool. That is cool. I want and then the a cheese grater. Pizza guy. It's the Monopoly guy. Okay, cool. So we've learned how to play this for the most part. It's not exactly like Monopoly. It's it's very similar in the sense of color groups, but that is pretty much it. You can see that it's a little bit smaller than a Monopoly game because each group there's only two that make up a color group, and it's a lot different than Monopoly in the sense there are no houses, there's no hotels or anything like that, and instead. There are these pizza slices that you collect when you land on a space. The game ends when all of the assortment of pizzas are collected, and then at the very end, you just kind of see who has the most pizza slices, which is probably not going to be me, because where am I? I'm in jail. Oh no, it's really blurry. <laughs> this pizza, or this, <laughs> this pizza, this game is like oddly, not oddly, but it's like super obsessed with Pizza. It is like you, you like it's very pick up a community <laughs> chest and then it's just like you, you go to jail but you grab a slice of pizza, you know. It's like, <laughs> it just finds a way to incorporate pizza, which I appreciate. And it's it's, fun. it's funny. Like I kind of want to get a couple drinks in me and then like play this. It would be really fun. We'd order so many pizzas. And I want pizza now. But this will be pretty easy. I'm pretty positive. Like instead of Monopoly taking like three and a half hours, we could probably finish this in like. 30 minutes. Yeah. So the game has concluded. How did you fare, Brennan? You literally bought every single pizza. <laughs> I did. Look at this spread over here. I kept getting in debt, so I kept having to sell all my pizza. <laughs> but the way it's played is the, the person who wins is who gets the most points with these pizza slices that we have, and I have right. more. Yes. However, they're like... They vary from like plus three to minus three to plus one to minus two. So once we add all of them up, that's kind of how we determine who wins. But you literally monopolize the pizza. Yeah, so each of these are worth points as well. So I probably won because I got all of, True. literally all of the pizza. Ooh, I forgot about that. Part. And it was, it's kind of funny because each of these as a pair, like they're individual <laughs> ingredients, but together like this makes eggplant and olive pizza. This is meat lovers pizza. This is spinach and tomato pizza, barbecue chicken pizza, veggie pizza, margarita pizza, Hawaiian pizza, and a bacon mac and cheese pizza. So 
Now we're gonna flip these up and see. We'll collect the rest of your pizzas first. All of these. Okay, Brennan, did you calculate your score? I did. What is your final score? 16. 16, <laughs> do you wanna know what mine was? 97. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess I won, but there yeah. was Pizza Monopoly. I definitely want to play this again, even if it is as like redemption. This was like really fun, actually. It was. It is going to be much better with multiple people because yeah, it'll go quicker. Yeah, once once somebody starts to take the lead, like I did, mm -hmm. it just kind of stays that way because if the other person gets any kind of money, it just goes straight over here to this side, and the game doesn't end until all of the pieces have been collected. So. Yeah. <laughs> it was, but that was fun. We did it. Pizza Monopoly. Pizza Monopoly. Now I really want pizza. <laughs> so I think we're going to go and end the video right here. Hanging out with our delightful little kitties here. Well, one of them. Well, Calvin <laughs> is just so much more behaved than Farley is. But that was it. That was our day in, in quarantine. Mm -hmm. And uh, It's kind of what we've been doing all week. Yeah. I guess we got a decent amount of stuff done not really okay so most of the days we spent just kind of cleaning and organizing didn't do a lot of that today today was probably because of this a little bit more about just being entertained and, and entertaining ourselves yeah. and i think we did a really good job at that and um this definitely kept me busy it, it gave me something to be motivated to try to do yeah. because if i if i want to try to do something to entertain myself you know it ends up being entertaining i guess I don't know. I'm tired, but uh, good day. Had a lot of good food today mm -hmm. and played some games and you went rollerblading, which I will absolutely be doing that as soon as mine come in the mail. Yeah. Which I'm so excited We're supposed excited to do it together. We will. We will. It's going to be something we're going to do all around the neighborhood and then maybe like down the sidewalk once I get comfortable with it because I'm a little bit nervous mm -hmm. about doing it next to like cars and, and whatnot. And, uh, and then I filmed another video, and that's going to be awesome to eventually edit and put out. I have all these, like, little ideas and these gears kind of turning, you know. And there's actually going to be some videos coming up here pretty soon that are actually going to be really exciting because Dennis is coming to visit yeah. Orlando. At a time when traveling is not probably the best idea, he is he's coming to Orlando because my family was supposed to come down tomorrow. In fact, we were going to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge at Disney and obviously that did not happen. The trip got completely canceled, so the parents mm -hmm. are staying home, which they absolutely should, and and because my grandmother's up in Pensacola too, it's a whole thing, but Dennis is still coming down, and he's... he's He needs company as well. He lives in Atlanta, and... Um, and we, we can't stop him from flying down here if that's what he wants to do, so. Yeah, but we're gonna keep him company. He's gonna keep us company. We're gonna make sure we... we you know, keep each other quarantined and, and, and all that fun stuff. We're just going to be doing it together. So Dennis is on lockdown as soon as he gets into town. But yeah. So there'll be some videos with Dennis in it, and that'll be great, right? <laughs> all right, see you soon. Have a good night. Goodbye. Bye.